Okay, this is a teardown of my Samsung T7 shield. Try to clean it a little bit. I spilled coffee all over it. Coffee went inside the USB port. There was coffee that went inside the USB port. It was it went all around it so also in the cable. I think the cable might have some cable might have some coffee in it, so I tried to I don't know if this will do anything. Basically whole cup of coffee went in the place where this was but it had no sugar in it, no milk I think I can see coffee grounds inside the USB port hmm? few so first thing that I did uh, it was to use isopropyl alcohol to spray it in the USB port there trying to remove the water like that and then to clean it isopropyl alcohol will evaporate really fast I think it's already clean but I will open it just to be sure I really don't want to ruin this. This is a two terabyte SSD drive. It's super fast. I use it to transfer files from my phone to the computer and it's amazing. And I really don't want to lose it. So let's start somewhere. Okay, first I have to figure out how to remove this stuff. I think I don't need to remove the this uh, rubber stuff only this uh, labels I think it has some kind of plastic cover on it so I could maybe try to pull it out okay This drive is still in warranty, but if it will have problems because of the water, they're not gonna, they're not gonna fix it on warranty, or maybe they would, and I'm voiding the warranty now. So, if you do this, you do it at your own risk. You know that. I'm just showing you how I do it and what's inside of it. Oh, there's a screw there. Okay, that looks good. I actually don't need to remove the whole thing, only the screw part. All I need is to get to the screw. I don't need to remove the whole thing. So, this was also soaked. Everything was soaked. And I will use think this one yeah trying to see what's inside of the drive to make sure that there is no wet spots in it so it uh, Okay, screw is coming out. Oh, 
Well, that's a pretty long screw. Wow. Okay, all the screws are removed from both sides here and there, but it's not coming out. Now maybe there is one more here. Oh, there's nothing more. I kind of ruined this sticker, but I think it's okay. It will go back in nicely. So now it is given has ventilation. Now oh, I could try from here. Interesting. Okay, I will try my opening tool, almighty opening tool. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe it's on this side. Let's try like this from here. Yep, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't go anywhere. It looks like it might just pop, pop out in a minute. Ah! Ah! It's coming out. Wow, there's a seal. Wow, interesting. It has a seal here, that's why it was open so difficult. I hope I didn't ruin any part of the seal, but anyway. Hmm. Interesting cartridge system. So here I see a little bit of juices. Here also before the seal, but this seal really protected it. The seal protected it so well. And this is the whatever it's written there. Everything is dry in here. Only thing that got wet was the USB port in there. And here I damaged the seal a little bit. 
So if you get water on your Samsung T7 shield, yeah, this is not juices from the coffee, it's from, from the manufacturer or something, I don't know, but this is really soft here. Wow, perfect. So inside there, no juices. And actually I didn't have to open the back. No, I had to open to unscrew it. Did I? Hmm? No. I didn't have to open it to unscrew it. There are no screw points here. So if you need to open your T7 shield, don't open it. <laughs> because it's uh, it has a sealant inside. It's gonna be fine. Uh, water will not get into it. Only in the USB port and you can easily clean the USB port and it's fine. So now... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have to open the back. It's not needed. All I can say, I hope I put it the same way now. In the same way in. to replay to make sure where the dead lady was okay this is the correct way i checked the unboxing video the samsung logo is here and the led is on the others on the opposite side so i will press it down i don't like how it presses against this uh, maybe i will try to press it down like this something like that Okay, now I think it can go in. Even pressure. Oh yeah, it's going. Okay, wow. Super strong seal. It's very difficult to put it back. So, I would imagine no water goes in there. So yeah, don't open the back, there's no need to open the back, but I have to change, change the screwdriver. Maybe it's hold it, holding it inside, I don't know, I'm not sure. So I'll put this thing. As good as I can. Yeah, you can tell it was opened for sure, but you don't need to open it. If you get it wet, get water in it, don't open it, no need. So this is the model number. That's this MUPE2TOS or 0S. I'll put the model number in the description so you see it. Two terabyte and here I didn't want to open the sticker all the way I didn't want to break it okay so the screws go back in the 
really well made I mean wow I thought it's like some joke about shield that is not really that shielded but it's really protecting the drive inside even from water not only from shock I guess I didn't read the manual don't know if it was written about IP67 or something protection okay so there goes screw points yeah other than spraying W spraying uh, isopropyl alcohol inside the charging port this is really the best way best and then keeping it like this drive should be fine I don't know through these screws holes now that now that I opened them I didn't check if they were open from the back but okay so now it's personalized about the spray to make sure to check the cable also do the same for the cable isopropyl alcohol 99% not 70, not 50, not water <laughs> because this evaporates really fast and it takes away the water from inside there if there is anything I will not power it on, I will let it sit till tomorrow, maybe a few days and then I will try it to see if it still works, but I think it's fine, there shouldn't be any problem. Should be all good. If your phone gets wet and it's not water resistant, take it to a shop to disassemble it and clean it professionally with isopropyl alcohol so it doesn't get damaged the damage will happen slowly slowly in time and it will take maybe six months or maybe one year until it stops working but most likely that would happen if it's uh, if water goes inside and this one now doesn't look very pretty but yeah okay I could put some glue here on this one if I press it really hard it stays it should stay if I press it really hard there the moral of the story here don't open your SSD your T7 shield SSD if you get water or coffee spilled on it it's fine they will not go it will not go inside most probably you ruin your ssd by opening it like i did here but it's still working i tried it today and it's fine the labels i had to pull them further and then bend them inward so they sit proper still they don't look very nice now and yeah better don't do this at all thanks for okay. watching thanks for watching